Welcome to AirPeak Tutorials. Today I'm going to walk you through the new PX1 gimbal for AirPeak. So let's check it out. There are great features the PX1 has over the T3 gimbal. It's lighter, which allows up to two minutes of extra flight time. It features easy access to the battery and media while the camera is mounted to AirPeak. The PX1 has HQR, hyper quick release, so that the camera can disconnect quickly from the gimbal by releasing a single latch. It also has an integrated sync port for geotagging with Sony's new RTK accessory. The PX1 is similar to the T3 by using the USB-C cable to transmit all data to and from the flight app. Let's start with attaching the PX1 to AirPeak. Make sure that the aircraft is off. The PX1 utilizes the same AirPeak base plate and locking mechanism as the T3. Before attaching the gimbal, take a look at the AirPeak locking ring. Make sure the white circle on the locking ring is aligned with the unlock icon. Now let's attach the PX1. Align the identical markers on both the PX1 and the lock ring. Connect the PX1 and turn the locking ring toward the lock icon while firmly holding the gimbal head. Confirm the PX1 is secured by identifying the white circle is aligned with the lock icon and the button is protruding out of the locking ring. Here's some tips on how to remove the gimbal. Hold the gimbal with one hand firmly while unlocking it from AirPeak. The gimbal or the camera may be scratched or damaged if the gimbal rotates or drops. Be sure to remove the gimbal after use. Leaving it attached to the aircraft may cause excessive wear of the dampening plate. Now let's mount an alpha camera to the PX1. Remove the shoulder strap attachment from the camera. Store the shoulder strap attachment securely so as not to lose it. Remove the L bracket from the gimbal. Loosen the lever and move the L bracket forward to remove it while pressing the release button. Attach the tripod screw on the L bracket to the bottom of the camera. Temporarily keep the tripod screw loose. Pass the camera fixing screw through the shoulder strap eyelet of the camera and secure it. Adjust the mounting angle so that the L bracket and the camera are oriented parallel. Observe the proper mounting angle. Notice the A7R5 has a round protruding notch on the bottom. The notch should be aligned with the hole in the L bracket. Now tighten the tripod screw. Let's connect the L bracket to the gimbal. Unlock the lever and place the camera in the gimbal from the front. Securely lock the lever. Use the included USB-C cable to connect the ports from the camera to the gimbal. Make sure that the cable is wired in an S shape so as not to interfere with the gimbal. Now let's adjust the balance of the PX1. Confirm that the camera lens cap is removed. Turn on the camera to avoid movements of the focus unit in the lens. Confirm that the aircraft is turned off. Confirm that you have installed the accessories you want to use. Adjust the balances of the tilt, roll, and pan axes in this particular order. First adjust the horizontal balance of the tilt axis. Loosen the lever and then slide the L bracket forward or backward to adjust the balance. After adjusting the balance, close the lever firmly. Rotate the tilt frame by about 15 degrees to check if the balance is adjusted properly. If properly adjusted, the tilt frame will stay still or return to the horizontal position. Now let's adjust the vertical tilt balance. Rotate the gimbal's L bracket to aim the camera lens downward. Loosen the lever on the front of the L bracket and slide the L bracket back and forth to adjust the balance. After adjusting the balance, firmly tighten the lever. Rotate the tilt frame by about 45 degrees to check if the balance is adjusted properly. If properly adjusted, the tilt frame will stay still or the camera lens will return facing down. Next, let's adjust the balance of the roll axis. Loosen the lever and slide the roll frame left and right to adjust the balance. After adjusting the balance, firmly tighten the lever. Rotate the roll frame by about 45 degrees 
to check if the balance is adjusted properly. If properly adjusted, the roll frame will stay still or slowly return to horizontal position. Next, adjust the balance of the pan axis. Loosen the lever and slide the pan frame back and forth to adjust the balance. After adjusting the balance, firmly tighten the lever. With the gimbal stationary, tilt the aircraft left or right to check if the balance is adjusted properly. If properly adjusted, the pan frame will stay still. Please note that you should not adjust the gimbal balance with the aircraft upside down. Doing so may damage the dampening rubber of the dampening plate. Before taking flight, apply the motor preset parameters to ensure best stabilized results. Let's check out the parameters. In this specific order, power on your devices. Power the tablet and open AirPeak Flight app. Now power on the remote controller. Next, power on the camera. Now power on AirPeak. Now let's apply the presets. Navigate to the settings at the top right of the AirPeak Flight app screen. Tap Gimbal from the displayed setting menu. Now tap on Main Tuning to display the parameter setting screen for the motor control. Tap start under the apply a preset menu at the top of the motor parameter setting screen. Select your camera and lens and apply motor parameter presets. When the camera is equipped with accessories such as a hood or filter, you will need to manually adjust the motor parameters. It's possible to slightly adjust the sliders manually in the flight app but do not over adjust as you can create micro vibrations. For in-depth help on what the parameters do, tap on the info button in the flight app. Advanced tuning may be needed and require the G-Tune desktop PC software. This software can be found at the below URL. Thank you for checking out the tutorial. For more information on AirPeak, refer to the help guide.